On May 1, 2024, a seemingly ordinary sunspot appeared on the eastern edge of the sun. At first, it was nothing more than one of the many sunspots that come and go, appearing without fanfare. But as days passed, something extraordinary began to unfold. This sunspot, designated Active Region 3664, grew at an astonishing rate, swelling to a size 17 times larger than Earth itself. It wasn't long before it began to live up to its name, unleashing powerful solar flares some so intense they triggered coronal mass ejection CMEs aimed straight at Earth. What followed was one of the most dazzling auroral displays in recorded history. Vibrant light stretched across the globe, reaching places that had never seen such a spectacle before. According to NASA, this event marked the most powerful geomagnetic storm in 500 years, even shaking observatories located deep underground. However, the sun didn't settle down after this first intense wave of solar storms. Instead, it continued to unleash bursts of M and mild X-class flares, keeping space weather experts on high alert. On October 3, 2024, a massive X9.0 flare erupted right from the center of the sun's disk, the strongest flare seen in seven years. Within a week, this burst triggered a powerful G4 geomagnetic storm, lighting up the skies with vibrant auroras in regions that had never before experienced such displays. At the same time, radio communications were disrupted in some parts of the world. All of this pointed to one undeniable conclusion the solar maximum had arrived. NASA confirmed that the sun's magnetic field had flipped, signaling the peak of its 11-year solar cycle. As solar activity surged, Many were left to wonder what the consequences of this heightened solar behavior would be for Earth in the months ahead. Scientists are keenly observing this solar maximum, as its effects reach far beyond just spectacular light shows. Geomagnetic storms, like the ones we're witnessing, have the potential to disrupt not only communication and satellite systems, but also power grids, global navigation systems, and even impact air travel, and with satellites and GPS systems being integral to modern infrastructure, any significant disturbance could cause widespread consequences. Already, this solar cycle has resulted in issues like the loss of dozens of Starlink satellites caused by a massive flare in 2022. Now, with even stronger flares expected, there is growing concern about the vulnerability of space-based technologies that have become indispensable to daily life on Earth. Yet, solar maximum is not just a matter of technological concern. It also serves as a reminder of the sun's dynamic influence on Earth's environment. Beyond its role in space weather, the sun's periodic activity can have long-term effects on the Earth's climate. While scientists emphasize that solar radiation alone cannot account for the current trends in global warming, it is clear that the sun has played a role in shaping the Earth's climate in the distant past. During periods of heightened solar activity, Earth receives slightly more solar radiation, which in turn has a minimal impact on the climate. However, when the sun enters periods of lower activity, as seen during the Maunder Minimum and Dalton Minimum, Earth's temperatures can cool significantly. It is during these extended periods of solar inactivity that the possibility of climate anomalies, like the Little Ice Age or a cooler phase, comes into play. Interestingly, Solar Cycle 25, the current cycle we are experiencing, has been anything but predictable. For years, scientists anticipated a relatively calm cycle, but instead they've witnessed an active and intense phase, with sunspots and solar flares appearing in abundance. The cycle has already exceeded expectations in terms of solar activity, and as of August 2024, the average sunspot number was recorded at 299, more than double the forecasted amount. This has raised intriguing questions about the sun's behavior, with many speculating that this cycle may mark the beginning of a more active period that could last longer than originally expected. While the solar maximum itself brings about spectacular cosmic events, it also provides opportunities for new discoveries in space weather science. Researchers are using this period of heightened solar activity to gather data that could help predict and better understand future solar events, and ultimately how they will affect Earth. The study of solar storms and their interaction with Earth's magnetosphere is an ongoing area of interest, as scientists explore ways to protect our technologies and infrastructure from solar-induced damage. But beyond the practical implications, 
There is something inherently awe-inspiring about the sun's power. The way it drives the rhythms of life on Earth its warmth, its light, and its unpredictable bursts of energy reminds us of the sheer vastness of the universe. The solar storms that produce magnificent auroras are not just a spectacle of light, they are a manifestation of the sun's deep, untamed energy and a reminder of how small, yet deeply connected, we are to the cosmic forces that shape our planet. As we look ahead to the coming months, with solar activity predicted to peak by early 2025, it's clear that we are witnessing one of nature's most powerful cycles in action, a cosmic event that links Earth's past, present, and future in ways we are only beginning to understand. One of the most intriguing aspects of the solar maximum is the possibility of a major solar storm, reminiscent of past events like the Carrington event of 1859, which is still the most powerful solar storm on record. During this event, a massive solar flare sent ACME straight toward Earth, disrupting telegraph systems across Europe and North America, causing electric shocks to operators and even enabling telegraphs to operate without batteries. The aurora borealis was visible as far south as the Caribbean, and the event is still remembered as a reminder of the immense power of the sun. Other powerful solar storms, such as the New York Railroad Storm of 1921 and the March 1989 storm, have also left lasting impacts on Earth. These events have caused everything from fires to widespread electrical grid failures, highlighting the vulnerability of our modern infrastructure to solar activity. Today, with our reliance on satellites, telecommunications, and GPS, the impact of solar storms could be even more devastating, potentially causing trillions of dollars in damages. The recent 2022 flare, which resulted in the loss of 40 Starlink satellites, underscores how much we depend on a stable space environment to support modern life. As we enter this period of solar maximum, one important question looms does solar activity contribute to global warming? The short answer is no. While there is a slight increase in solar radiation during solar maximum, the effect on Earth's overall temperature is minimal. Studies have shown that variations in solar activity have had little to no impact on global warming over the past few decades. Global temperatures have continued to rise, driven by human-caused factors like greenhouse gas emissions, rather than solar fluctuations. However, solar activity does play a role in shielding Earth from cosmic rays. During periods of intense solar activity, the Sun's magnetic field offers an extra layer of protection for satellites and astronauts, preventing cosmic rays from causing long-term damage. Perhaps the most beautiful aspect of the solar maximum is the auroras. When a CME collides with Earth's magnetic field, the resulting energy creates a mesmerizing light show, with vibrant colors painting the night sky. In some cases, auroras can even be seen during the day, and these dazzling displays are a reminder of the sun's influence on our planet. For those lucky enough to live near the poles, or in places like Canada, Alaska, and Scandinavia, this is the time to watch the skies and experience the cosmic wonder that the sun provides. As we move through the solar maximum, we are reminded of the vast, dynamic forces at play in the universe. The sun, though a constant presence in our sky, is anything but predictable. It serves as both a source of life and a reminder of the incredible power that lies just beyond our reach. The sun's activity, while awe-inspiring, also serves as a warning our planet is deeply intertwined with the forces of space and the coming months will likely show us just how much we rely on the stability of these forces to maintain the delicate balance of life on Earth.